What's going on everybody? It's Joe. So back here in the car and started thinking and another simple truth popped into my mind. Basically I'm on the way to uh, get my car washed. Up here in New York in the winters the cars get ugly pretty quick. All the sand, the salt, and then between me and my wife spoiling our two dogs and taking them on car trips every now and again. Um, they get the window a little smudged, they get some some hair and stuff on the seat, so time to get a nice cleaning to the car. And that brought a simple truth to my mind. In business, you know, in any kind of sales or business, people buy emotionally. They do not buy intellectually. What made me think of that is, you know, getting the car cleaned just it emits an emotional response for me. I like the way the car smells and feels and looks when I get into it. Uh, it doesn't last all that long sometimes, but I enjoy it. It just makes me feel a certain way. And if you look at new, you know, new car sales, and when you go to buy a new car, what's one of the things that the dealers do? Right? They pump your car full of this new car smell, quote unquote. I mean, you know, what new car smell? The thing's been on the docks for months. Okay? There's a certain smell that they spray in the car to emit a, cer a certain uh, emotional response from you. you know, if we bought intellectually, we wouldn't have half the bells and whistles on our cars. We wouldn't have the fancy stereos, the navigation systems. You know, it'd, it'd be a basic car with a speedometer, tachometer, and the necessary gauges to let you know how your car is doing, and it'll get you from A to B. Right? We buy everything on emotion. So if you're relying on the company's <coughs> products, you know, being the, the best pharmaceutical grade nutritionals or uh, the best skincare products or the best this, the best that, the compensation plan that's the most generous, you know, th this is all, you know, stuff based on intellect. And that's not how people buy. So you have to learn how to to trigger their emotional responses. So take a look at your training, take a look at what you're doing. And if you're not emitting um, you know, emotional responses, I don't think emitting is the correct word, but if you're not getting your prospects to emit emotional responses, that's probably the better way to put it, then you're probably making it a bit harder than it has to be. All right, guys, so if you want to learn some more about uh, you know, how to get <clears throat> excuse me, how to get the emotional responses from your prospects. Join us over at the Million Mind March, Monday and Tuesday nights for our phone calls. It's 641-594-7000. 6000-88-POUND is the passcode if you want to join us. And uh, again, that's Monday and Tuesday nights, 927 Eastern. And uh, my contact info is at the end of the video here. And uh, look forward to chat with you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.